welcome back. Uh, so here we are in front of our new tent that we are hoping to take on the Pacific Crest Trail with us. Um, so it, a lot of stuff went into figuring out which tent we wanted to take and a lot of thought research. We had about seven tents we were looking at and it really came down to best price, best weight value, um, and the best reviews and the availability. So we have decided to tent together throughout our uh, hike and yes we know we'll smell it's a bigger footprint so it's harder to find spots for it it means we have to hike together every day we have to camp together that means um, we might get really frustrated with each other not have our own space and our privacy but honestly I've been homeschooled by her coached by her she's been with me every step of my life and I we're gonna horse ranch, so I don't really care about smells. <laughs> uh, I get so accustomed to them, horrible smelling things so easily, so I don't really care. And, I, and we've tried hiking separately. Like we'll be like, okay, get to this camp spot and just hike your own hike. And we always end up hiking together. Like we're the same pace. We stop the same. It's, it's, we really are like, carbon copies of each other so it doesn't really matter to us and it just seemed price wise and space and weight wise it just seemed like the best option for us um, we, we had to get a second hike right yeah we had to get a second tent anyways because she's been using um her dad's probably 20-ish year old um almost like a bivy Older than camp I am. Uh, a tent and so we had to get a new one, uh, irregardless, regardless of what we went, what we went with. So we um, thought for the, the actually we get to save a pound and a half each, each by just taking this one tent, then the two tents. Yeah. Um, so she we had um, the same tent, but in a two person, and we tried that to see if maybe we could fit in that. And we just are too broad in the shoulder that it's we're right up next to each other in order to fit in the tent and it just didn't seem like the best function and we'd rather take a couple more ounces just to save or to give us a little bit more room and headspace and so that's why we decided to go with the three person okay so this one is uh our pack weight will be two pounds ten ounces so split between the two of us it won't be even split because uh you can't split it evenly in half here you get a pound uh, five ounces you get a pound five ounces so we're yeah, gonna cut the so steaks we're in gonna... half so we'll figure out what it is and who and carries what size what part of it um also and maybe food wise we might and maybe she takes the whole yeah. thing because she she technically hikes just a little bit faster than me but only marginally faster yeah. so she could put it up together and then i will carry and then i food. have my asthma which will slow me yeah. down in some yeah. parts so, so it it, makes... it, it's all it's all equal in the wash so we've we've decided on this tiger wall ul3 tent it's the big agnes tiger wall yeah, ul3 tent um and the other one we tried was the uh, Big Agnes Tiger Wall 2 UL2, UL2 yeah. tent. Um, so, But we just got it in the mail. We thought we'd try it out. We don't have the footprint yet. No. Um, it's on back order. Hopefully it gets here sooner than later because we'd like to go on a hiking trip with it. Um, if not, we'll take the UL2 and we'll just be squished because it's not going to be a, but a couple nighters because um, yeah, we wouldn't be able to right last. Now. Yeah, we can't. We do wouldn't five last months. five months in a two-person tent, but we could do a couple of nights and weeks, and we've done that. Yeah, we've done it. Before. We've done it before. So, so we put it up. Uh, we'll give you the specs on 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 below in the description if you'd like to. Yeah. Uh, figure out what we're doing and our prices and I believe we might have gotten a little discount on it so it might not be the exact price of what yeah. it's listed but um we'll d tell you what price we paid if I um, can find it <laughs> yeah if we can find it so the other tents we looked at we looked at the uh, Z pack triplex um which looked really nice but um we were a little nervous about the single wall and the non freestanding so this is semi freestanding um, which is um, pretty nice and one and one thing that we've always talked about between ourselves is we need, have little things that we need to be more okay with going on this trip and one of those for her is a double, uh, double wall, wall tent, tent. Yeah. Um, and so I do not do well when I am soaking cold yes and so we decided that comfort wise this is one of those things 
um, that we just need. And that is something that you should probably t ask yourself if you ever go on a trip like this, is what are the main things you know you can't skimp out on? And what are the things you can skimp out on? Like I per uh, will not be taking a pillow with me. I will. I hardly sleep with pillows at home anyway, so, but mm -hmm. she needs a pillow. Um, and so it's just little things like that that you have to figure out for yourself what's best for you. And this for us is what's best. Um, if you want to leave comments saying, oh, you, what are you guys doing? You're gonna get so bored, feel free. I mean, we've heard them all in our we've research because we've asked people about it and we've heard it all and we're quite aware of everything. And who knows, we might get bored of each other and we might want to kill each other. And so then we will have mission control here at the house, my dad, send us um, a single person tent um, for us. So we are not stuck with this option the whole five months if it doesn't work out. And yeah. you never know unless you try. Yeah. So we want to try. We're going to try. We're going to yeah. have fun. So here's the view that we will see for every morning uh, for mm, hopefully four and a half, five months. Let's see. And then we sit up. And we'll show you what's kind of inside the tent. Headroom. I'm right here. This is the headroom space. They have pockets here. They also have a pocket up here, which is a little bit more um, traction. And they have headphones, tool holes. It's really nice. A loop to hang It's a bathtub um, floor. It's really nice. Double layer, of course. Double wall. Double wall. Thank you. But a lot of mesh. Oh, they even have pockets up here. Okay, we'll definitely need a ground cloth. Yeah, we need to get our ground floor. Um, yeah, so this is the big Agnes. Tiger Ball 3. Tiger Ball 3. So we had, we tried out the Tiger Ball 2, which is the top we've had for about a year now. Um, and it's just a little too tight for people. Our shoulders. Yeah, we have wide shoulders. If we want to put anything in, okay, lay down all the way. And then, and then we also have the vestibule space as well. Got lots which of vestibule space. Which is now space. blowing in due to the winds. Okay, it's time for us to say goodbye. Well, there you have it. Our tent is down now and we've tried it out. Um, and so it seems like it will work really great for us. It's two doors, not one at the top. Uh, that was one of our, our requirements for a tent is having two doors, two vestibules. Yes, famous <laughs> TP in all her glory will need to be out of the tent in the middle of the night and I just did not want to deal with her having to get over me or do the somersault in and out um, if it was uh, the front doors door. in the front. So, like I said, every tent is for its owner and is unique and everybody needs a different tent situation so, and this is what so, we're required to have. So instead of hike your own hike, pitch your own tent. Yeah, pitch your own tent, <laughs> your I own like tent. that. Okay. Well, this is Sketch and TP signing off from Seattle in our front yard. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the trails. trails.